Hey, what's going on, agents? It's your boy Apex. If you like the video, I want you to break your keyboard smashing that subscribe button. Alright, let's get it. To the division developers slash creators that are specifically working on the division 2 this is a courtesy call a courtesy message to the developers listen I'm gonna keep it as real as I can with you guys all right somebody pass the message on if you can if they don't hear it this is a courtesy call what we call a courtesy call developers I understand the direction that you're going with the Division 2. I understand 100% your intentions of this game being a cover based shooter. I got you. I'm with you all the way. But this is a courtesy call. This is to kind of let you get an insight really on what the community is thinking. And this is from a vet in this game. Day 1 trying to keep it with you real as with you as I can if I even said that correctly three points I want to cover trying to keep it real with y'all point one okay skill up Marco Styles they are not the only voices that you should be listening to in this community I'm not saying you are but I know damn well Every one of you guys have heard everybody complain about running around with the support station because they can't drop it and they can't heal. I know you've heard those complaints. I know you've heard all of the other complaints that the entire community has expressed. Frustration with the game. But specifically, I'm talking about with this whole running around with the freaking lunchbox in your hand. You can't drop it, you can't heal. Everybody has complained about that in this community, and it has been ignored. Mr. Marco Styles comes on and says, Hey, there's a glitch. When you drop the support station, you run these couple steps, you know, your status affect him, you come in, he kind of explains it. The next state of the game, you guys came out and said you're going to be working on that. That's wonderful. But I'm letting you know that's extremely disrespectful to all the people that have continued to play this game and have dealt with RPM glitches, invisibility glitches, multi-gear set glitches, all the things that we've dealt with. And when we mention that stuff to you, we make it known through this community that this is an issue. It gets completely ignored, but this gentleman comes out and says this thing that lets us know whose word that you value. And you may want to consider that looking at the amount of people that are playing this game now versus when it started out. That should tell you something. That should tell you if you look at the LVOA or the Lightweight M4, right, in this game. We have only those two assault rifles that are, vi are viable in this game. There used to be the G36 that we used to use. This weapon right here that I'm running around with right now. But thanks to Mr. Marco Styles and his opinion, you decided to nerf this weapon and make changes to this weapon, which made the LVOA pretty much the only viable assault rifle in this game. Listen to me. You have a huge community of players in this game who are 10 times better than Marco Styles or Scale Up or myself or anybody will ever be whose words that you ignore and they no longer play this game. In a business sense, that costs you on your bottom line because these people are not playing the game because if you're a staff or organization that listens to the words of the players, it needs to not only be one person. 
it needs to not only be one person it baffles me how the entire division community has complained about the inability to drop your support station and heal and nothing has been done and Marco Styles points out one time that that's a glitch this whole running and placing and then the next state of the game that is addressed and is being put in the works to be addressed and fixed amazing how you can do that how you can ignore an entire community amazing and again that's reflected in your bottom line and the number of people playing this game secondly if you take a look at Ghost Recon War okay Ghost Recon War is a classic um, sign of what not to do with PvP this is a courtesy message if you box people in to how you want them to play this game okay that is going to have the same effect that many of the things had when you first started this game that caused massive amounts of players to leave the game. If you look at Ghost Recon War, you are forced or you are pinholed into how the developers want you to play the game. You're going to be this, you can be this, you can be this, and you can be this, and there can only be one of you on the team. There can only be one of these types of players on the team. And they pigeonhole people into the types of roles that they can play in PvP. That was a huge downfall for Ghost Recon War. Huge downfall. Cost the game its success in my opinion. Many people joined Ghost Recon or bought Ghost Recon with the anticipation of this huge, massive, open world PvP type scenario only to be pigeonholed. So it's a message to you guys that if it is your intention to pigeonhole people, that it is not going to be effective and it has proven to be ineffective. So that might be something you want to consider if you're telling me hey this is going to be a cover based shooter and you will not be able to be effective in the game unless you play and adapt to this play style that's you might as well go tell the people in fortnite that fortnite is going to be a cover based shooter go tell the people in fortnite that the only way that you can play fortnite is that you can you got to get behind cover and then you can't run up on people. That's all they do is jump around and shoot people in the head with shotguns and ARs and build all over them and then blast them in their skulls. That's what they do in Fortnite. You're not going to Fortnite and then changing Fortnite and telling the players in Fortnite, now nah, you got to play it like this now. There's millions of people playing the game. That's the spirit of the game. So you got to understand if it's your intention to change the entire spirit of the game, how it is embraced by the people that are playing it now, it may cost you even further. And finally, my last but not least, most important point that I want to make, we love this game. We love you guys and we thank you guys for developing an awesome game that we can be immersed in and that we can really enjoy. Thank you guys. I thank you guys personally for putting the time and the effort to listen to the community when you have because not in, in every game that is not done. I can't get in God of War or Hitman and make a complaint and then they go back and redo parts of the game based on my 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 thoughts and my suggestions and my words so this is one of the first games that i've participated or played that has had a developer development staff or or, or professional staff backers developers whatever you have however you say it that have actually listened to the words of the people playing the game so i appreciate that just want to give you a courtesy call just want to give you a courtesy call to let you know those two things right there they need to be addressed and they need to be heavily considered marco styles skill up these like high they're not whatever they are really awesome influencers but they are not the only voices that you should hear from this community 
all right and then be cautious about the changing of the spirit of this game again go look at ghost recon and how people are not interested in that thing maybe some are but not to the level of fortnite or what this game could and should be i'm done it's your man apex appreciate y'all be easy i'm out that i'm at an all time <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no